It's Boxing Day. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. It's Boxing Day, and in Australia, there are some traditions for Boxing Day. Hardy, do you know any of the Boxing Day traditions? B- boxes? Yeah. Okay. There's boxes. Yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of uh, there's a test cricket match, the Boxing Day test. Oh, yeah. The Boxing Day test. Love watching the Boxing Day test. Okay, what's your favourite bit of the Boxing Day test? Um, oh, just the first bowl. After that, it's all downhill? It's all downhill from there. Okay. I get more and more disappointed as it goes on. Right. Uh, there's also the Boxing Day sales. Yeah. 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 I like to go to, to, to Harvey Norman. What do you do go to Harvey Norman for? Go to Harvey Norman for the Boxing Day sales. Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get a lamp. Oh. It's usually thirty dollars for twenty dollars. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, and another tradition, maybe not so much anymore, but it was Boxing Day movies. Yeah, we go to the cinema, watch yeah. the watch the big release Are we going for Boxing to the Day. Movies? No, we're not. We're going. To, we go to see Avatar: The Way of the Water. No, nah. really, no, 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 no. But I can remember back in the day, like the Harry Potters came out on Boxing Day, and you go and see them. And uh, the Lord of the Rings would come out on the Boxing Day. They would be the big Boxing Day movies in Australia. Movies on Boxing Day was a thing. I don't think it really is still a thing. People go to the movies on Boxing Day, but it's um, not the big cinema event it used to be. Avatar The Way of the Water sounds like it's from the other Avatar franchise. What do you mean? Oh, like The Last There's Airbender. Airbendering and stuff. Like, that's one of the main elements. Water. I, you know what? It's one of the You're absolutely forms. right. I think that's, I think that's true. The it's next like, one's going to be yeah. Avatar, Watch Out, Lava Fire, Hurt Your yeah. Owl. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be called The Fire Nation Strikes Back, and you're not going to know which one's... <laughs> <laughs> Who's who? Got, what? Haven't they got like four more in the works? Isn't that earth, wind, fire? <laughs> yeah, they might be te- – they're going to go, we're doing elements now. Yeah. Uh, would not surprise me if that was James Cameron's – James Cameron's avatar, yeah. <laughs> Legend of Korra. <laughs> uh, so the movies. Back to the movies. Yeah. Okay. A great Australian thing is a candy or lolly by the company Allen's called Fantails. Fan Fantails. I think they were made almost specifically for the movies because what it is, yeah, it's a chocolate covered, hard, chewy, hardish, chewy caramel square wrapped up in a wrapper, and the wrapper is he's got trivia. It's on got it. trivia on it. So today we're going to do Allen's Fantails trivia. Yeah, That's it. We're, do, we're doing trivia. It's easy. There's only two problems with them. What's that? When when the answers cut off because they cut it off because like the machine doesn't do a perfect wrap of each one. Or well, some of the questions are longer and some of them yeah. are shorter, and then they don't end up with a full question and answer on yeah, that on sucks. each wrapper. And but, the wh- other one that sucks is that they're all old movies. Where did they get a? Where did they go do new one? It's not. It's not updated trivia. This they isn't up to the them. up to the date trivia. This is old no, trivia. It's old stuff. I'm gonna be out of my depth. They have nothing on Spider Man No Way Home. Well, I don't know. They like don't they've, they've got this recycled packaging, and they've and the the bags now made of paper, oh, and the good. wrappers are recyclable too. Anyway, I like fantails. I love. Fantails. I like to eat them. But we're going to do the quiz. We're going to do the quiz for Boxing Day movies. If you're watching a movie on Boxing Day, maybe you're watching the watch along of Elf with mm. Tom and Hardy because that's super fun. That's after. It's, you can watch Elf any time of the year. We established that. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can go and get yourself but some yeah, Alan's that fan tales. Like, that feels like you've missed it if you're watching it on Boxing Day. Oh, you're just getting ready for no, next you year. Do you just love Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Open that sucker up. Oh, oh, it is paper. So it is paper. Rippable. All right. You're going to ask the first question now. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Look, should we have some rules? If there is a full question on there, we ask that. Yeah. Oh, oh no. You're dropping your lollies left, right, and center. Okay. I've got a full question. I got one as well. Oh, you're eating it already. I've got this bowl, so you don't have to eat into the microphone. Mind you, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Okay, who am I? Born in June 22. Oh, not born in June 22. That was only last year. Who am I? I'm a baby. No. Born June 22nd, 1949. She is an actress of theatre, television and film. 
After many theatre roles, she made her film debut with Julia in 1977. Both critical and commercial success uh, came quickly with roles in The Deer Hunter, 1978, Sophie's Choice, 1982, Out of Africa, 1985, Mamma Mia, 2008. That's a skip. The Iron Lady, 2011, and August. Banksy. Uh, Can't prove it's not. Okay. Well, I can't, but that's not the answer I have here. She has received 17 Academy Award nominations, winning three, and set 27 Golden Globe nominations, winning eight. More nominations than any other actor in history, with many oh, considering no. her the greatest actress of all time. What's her name? Sandra Bullock? Yeah, no, it's Meryl Streep. Meryl oh. Streep. Yeah, because I was saying Sandra Bullock probably won't have that big of a, of a skip with the Mamma Mia. She she's also wasn't born. She's not quite that old, I don't think, 1949. I don't know how old people are. Okay, anyway. Uh, I just look, anyone older than me. All right. I'm just like, what? How old are you? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm going to score this. Could be 70, could be 30. All right. I don't really know. So far, Tom Hardy. Now, uh, you don't get points off for a wrong answer, and I don't get any right by points because I read it out. All right, you're 10. What is this oh, question? you're going to probably get this one. Yeah. Let's see if, how quick I can get it. Born in Sydney, 1968, he pursued dr- drama at the Western Australian Academy of Performing Arts. He has starred in a variety of musicals, making fame starring as Peter Allen. Oh, it's run. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. It's Yay, Hugh. It's Hugh Jackman. Did you know Hugh Jackman went to Whopper? Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Everybody went to Whopper when Hugh Jackman was there, just to ask anyone who's been to Whopper. Okay. What movie am I, Hardy? What movie am I? Directed by Gore Verbinski. Oh, God. This series is a multi billion dollar Walt Disney franchise encompassing movies, books, and theme parks. It stars Johnny Depp, Orlando oh, Bloom, is, and Jeffrey is, uh, Rush. Pirates of, the, Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes. Your turn. Okay, I've got. Mm, yeah, I've got one. Go. But uh, who am I? Born in Louisville, Kentucky on August 15th. 1990, her career began when she spent a summer in Manhattan when she was 14. She scored small commercial and film roles and shortly thereafter moved to Hollywood to pursue her dream. Her big break came when she played Re in Wintersbourne 2010, giving her Academy Award and Golden Globe nominations. I don't know. She has gone on to play Mystique in the franchise. Oh, 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 um, First Jennifer part. Lawrence, Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Don't have to get upset if you're not. If, if uh, I get one, I'm gonna box you more. No, it's not Boxing Day. Uh, <laughs> it's just you yeah, hitting your hand. Yeah. Ah, okay. Who am I? Okay. Oh, you might get this one. Born in 1962, he is an American actor, comedian, writer, and voice artist. He studied improv at Chicago's Second City along with Stephen Colbert and Tina Fey, which landed him a five-year stint on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart. He found greater fame in the late 2000s for playing Michael Scott in America's version of The Office. Oh, it's, um, why can't I, not Tim Allen. He has also starred in lead roles in films, Evan Almighty. No, it's Steve Carell, no. Yes. Yes, Steve Carell, Steve Carell, yes. Yes. Ah. (laughs) Okay, ready? Your turn. Oh, yeah, my turn. Yeah. Oh, you just want to take away the fantail from me. Yeah, because you're eating them into the microphone. Okay. Oh, that's just you, Hugh again. Is it the same one? Oh, this is the other problem with fantail. Sometimes you get the same thing. Oh, wait. For a second, I thought this was also Hugh. This one doesn't have all of it. Well, unwrap it properly. It's got one answer. It's got the answer, and but... almost all of another one. Oh, okay. So which one are you going to read? The one with no answer or the one without the start? Um, I'm going to do the one with an answer. Okay. Uh, it's a who, who am I? Oh, yeah. After his role in Top Gun, 1986, his films include Rain Man. Tom Cruise. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's too easy, Fantails. It's too easy. Too easy. That's too easy. Right. Too easy. Too easy for me. I'm too good. Okay, okay. Oh, I, I put the wrapper away and kept the lolly. That doesn't work. Oh, uh, okay. This, again, we've got one with... Um, A little cut off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's got the start of one question, the end of another question, and that's it. Okay. Let's see if you can get this one. 
I know who I know what the answer is, but the answer is not on the wrapper. You ready? Okay. Who am I? Born November 11, 1974. He is an American actor and producer. He made his film debut in the comedic horror film Critters 3 in 1991. Before being nominated for an Academy Award at 19 for his role as Ernie in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, 1993. He then achieved international fame. Wait, wait, did you say What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Yeah. It's What's Eating Gilbert's Grape. No, it's What's Eating Gilbert Grape. No, it's What's Eating Gilbert's Grape. Well, that would be an ant. Yeah, that's what the movie's about. No, it's not. It's a spin-off from the, the short... CGI animated series of shorts, Minuscule. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Who's your favourite Minuscule characters? Oh, I like the I like the the ladybugs. You like the ladybug that goes bruh, 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 bruh. yeah, and the the flies. Is it the flies chase? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Then the flies. They sound. Like, it's a motorbike chase. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah. What What's your favourite? What's your favourite short out of all of them? Is it the ladybug one? It's the ladybug one. I like the one with the race. What's that one? Ah, uh, the one with the race where they're, they're all race, but they all just get like bonked around and their snail is the only one keeping on going. Yeah. And he wins. He wins. Yep. This is a pretty good one. So instead he wins the race. I want to watch more Minuscule. We now. can watch Minuscule after this. Okay. Okay. What's, What's the- eating Gilbert Grape? He then <laughs> achieved international fame as Jack Dawson in James Cameron's Titanic. Oh, so it is Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, it is Leonardo DiCaprio. I was going to say Leonardo DiCaprio before. You should have said it earlier. I didn't. Okay, have you got one? I didn't know. Uh, Okie dokie. Oh, yeah, we got one here. The score, score update. Oh, we'll have to do a score update after this one because this is the end of the round. You're just eating a bit of caramel off that wrapper. Yeah. Born in California, 1972, she is a former model turned actress. She broke into the movie scene in the 1990s with roles in The Mask, 1994, My Best Friend's Wedding, 1997, There's Something About Mary, Bing. Cameron Diaz. Yes, yeah, Cameron Diaz. Okay, so after four rounds, the scores are four for Tom, three for Hardy. We'll take a quick break here and then come back to the action. Okay, cool. Oh, and now we're back. This will go with me reading first again. Yeah. Yep. Scores, as a reminder, are four Tom, three Hardy. You ready? Who am I? You got the hard one because you weren't going to know Meryl Streep. Anyway, uh, you might. Mm. I've heard the name before. Yeah. Born in California in 1956, he has starred in the films Saving Private Ryan, The Da Vinci Code, and Captain Phillips. Oh. He has won two Oscars after playing Forrest Gump. Oh, Tom Hanks. Oh, I got it. <clears throat> point for Hardy. Go. Who am I? Born Hardy. In Sydney. Another point. Okay, go on. <laughs> Add another point. You won. Congratulations. <laughs> no, come on. Who am I? Born in Sydney, 1983. She was raised in the Australian rural town of Greenda. Oh, where we live. That's not where we live. But Is that Bruce- Gunnada? To Brisbane, yeah, probably, yeah, it's Canada, yeah, where we live. Oh, uh, yeah, cool, sure. Yeah. <laughs> but moved to Brisbane for her schooling, where we live. Yeah, <laughs> her modelling career took off after winning a Dolly magazine competition at Dolly eight, magazine. That's the magazine all the girls had at school. In 1997, she's has since appeared in many Australian fashion campaigns. In 2006, she relocated to the United States where she signed a lucrative cosmetic contract with Maybelline. Oh, maybe she's she born with it. was the first Australian Victor... Oh, Victoria what's her Victor name? Oh, Frank no. In New York of her <laughs> Yorkshire I know, Terrier I know who Frankie. She- Went to, she, uh, she, used to be married to Orlando actor, Bloom and gone. She's an actor, Orlando Bloom. Oh, there you go. She and the actor Orlando Bloom have had a son together named oh, Flynn. She name? married Evan Spiegel in 2017, and together they have two tr- children. Oh, Imagine if you got I, can't, I just the, can't remember her name. Imagine if you got okay, her after I, I, the Yorkshire Terrier fact. <laughs> Imagine if that's what goes. Oh, she's got a Yorkshire character called Frankie. She must be Miranda Kerr. Oh, I just couldn't remember her name. 
Uh, I'm back in the win at the race. Okay. Oh, this this wrap is gone. They didn't oh, didn't wrap that up properly. Anyway, here we go. You ready? Oh no, we've done that one. Get another one. Right. Okay. What movie am I? Tom. I'm not a movie. Tom the movie. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm living it. Big Tom in the big city. Yeah, I'm starring in my movie. You are all just background characters. Yeah, you are. In Big Tom the big city. Your movie. comic relief. Way oh, doink. Okay. Boink. Directed by Peter Jackson. How and about we go f- wait, into listen, a, let's see hey, how, how qu- about we go into a jungle and I walk in front of you and I move a twig, I move a stick forward and then I walk past the stick and that whacks you in the face. No, if you're comic relief, you're the one who gets whacked in the face. Depends on how we're doing it. Yeah, okay. What movie am I? Let's see how quick you can get it. Directed by Peter Jackson and filmed in his home country of New Zealand. Aww. This trilogy is based on... Lord of the Rings. That's it. Lord of the Rings. I don't know if Peter Jackson was from New Zealand. Yeah. I knew that he, like, did stuff there and did a bunch of... I didn't know that he was actually born there. Yeah. No. He, oh, and he, yeah, he cool. does all his filming... Well, most of his filming in New Zealand. Aww. He's got a creature workshop called Weta Workshop. And they do special effects and creatures and stuff. You ready? Okay. Um. Yeah. I'm. 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 I'm ready. Well, let's uh, go. I've got one with an answer. One with everything but the answer, but it's really easy. Okay. Well, if you're confident in the answer, read that one. No way. Because we um, we don't want to argue. Now I got this one. Yeah. Um. Named after Renaissance artist and trained in ninjutsu, these four characters fight against the evils of society. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Woohoo! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, sucks, should just be three. <laughs> He's not even a <laughs> okay. Renaissance okay, okay, okay. artist. You're not going to know this one. So this is gonna you know, might put me back in in the in the front. No. Born in Sydney in 1964, she is well known as a model, but also as a successful businesswoman. She was signed to a modelling agency during a trip to New York when she was studying law. She is known as the Body after her famous cover appearances on Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues in the 1980s. She also has her own lingerie line and range of skincare products. In 2010, she became the host and executive producer of Britain and Ireland. Ellen! Oh, Ellen! That's really close. Wait, really? Yeah. I'll let you have one more guess. Wait, Ellen's close? Well, only only because of the name. Uh, keep on going. That's it. She oh. is the uh, um, host and producer Ellen. of Britain and Ireland's Next Top Model. Elijah. Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood. And it's yes, not. <laughs> it's El McPherson. Today's the day of being away. Do you even oh. know who El McPherson is? No. Oh, my God. El McPherson. Oh, this, that's, oh, wait, that's Miranda, Miranda Carr again. Miranda Kerr. Oh, this is like half a one. Oh, do you think, okay, so I'm not going to get the full question. All right, I'll take that handicap. Let's go. You say, uh, 14 top 40 albums for Cola Trissel and 13 solo albums, including nine number ones. He has the highest number of hit albums for an Australian. His 16th solo album, Rage and Ruin, debuted at number three on the ARIA charts in 2010. So who am I? Uh, you know music. Yeah, is it? I'll give you 14 guesses. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Did that say Cold it? Chisel at the top? Um, yeah. Cold chisel. It says like cola. It says like C O and then like what might be an L could be a T and a D cut off. Cold chisel. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It is cold. I thought. (laughs) Because that looks like an A because it's cut off right at the top. So you could. It's Jimmy Barnes. Yeah, it's Jimmy Barnes. One more each in this round. (laughs) Oh, okay. Let's see if you get this one. Who am I? They are a group of. Four men who have their One own direction. No, hold on. The Beatles. Who have their own children's television program. The Wiggles. It is the Wiggles. There's only four <laughs> groups of four men. 
that has 10 more sentences and you got it in. Cause what other children's programs have four men? I don't know. None. None. Oh, wait, maybe Tina. No, nah, there's. Um, and the purple one's way better in the wheels. Yeah. Jeff's way better than Donatello. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff just, could bash Donatello. Oh, oh, if he wasn't sleeping. Then he'd go back to napping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one's also... That, I also got one that's the Wiggles, but there is another cut-off one, but you might get it. Okay, let's go. To her first child, her to, to husband rapper Jay-Z... Oh, it's Beyonce. Uh, yeah, you were going. <laughs> okay, so at the end of that round of four questions, uh, Hardy has three and I have three. Uh, total running score... Six versus seven to me. Tom's winning. Okay, the, I've severely miscalculated these rounds because there is only three left. Yeah, should I? Should you ask me two so I can possibly end in a tie? Okay. Wait, well, I'll do yeah. one. You do one, and then no, no. Here's what we we'll do. do. One, here's I what we we'll do. One, here's then you do we'll one do. more. I'll, I'll ask you this question. Oh, oh no. That one's Miranda. Oh, we've, Does that we, make no, it equal? No, well, that one's just Miranda Kerr again, so. Well, then this makes it equal. This makes it equal. This one might be for all the bananas. Okay, Hardy. Oh, okay. This is this is fair because you do know this person, so you might get it. There's no way you're not getting this person. I'm doomed. <laughs> okay, okay. Should we make this one worth 10 points? <laughs> Yeah, we'll also make this one worth 10 points. No, we'll make that one worth nine points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who am I? Born in February 3rd in Sydney, Australia. She is an actress, writer, and stand up comedian. Oh. She, she trained in Australia's ATYP and the acclaimed Second City Improv School in New York. She appeared as Tula in the SBS comedy series Pizza from 2003 and gained her breakout role in 2011's Bridesmaids, leading Variety to name her one of the top 10 comics to watch in 2011. In 2012, she starred in the musical comedy Pitch Perfect, where her oh, role Rebel as Wilson. fat Amy... Rebel Wilson. It, it was Rebel Wilson, so Hardy now has 10 points. Let me just add up. I'm just going to say two so words. So that's 16 this. total, and I'm currently on seven. I'm just going to say two words for this. And uh, this is worth nine points. Okay. Johnny Johnny Depp. Uh, oh, wait, that's his name. Is that the I answer? I going to say Jack Sparrow. <laughs> and you just told me the say. answer. <laughs> Oh, look. Which means you can't get the points. Oh, no. Ah. Oh, that's the end of that. I win. <laughs> Hardy wins. The... Yes. And here, here you go, Hardy. You can have a bowl of what looks to be about 25 unwrapped oh, caramels. Yeah. <laughs> can't put them all in my mouth at once. That's gross. Don't do that. Have a great Boxing Day. Let's watch Minuscule. Yeah, let's do that. See you.